It's going to be Dan Moore Memorial Chase's next then. Small field for this one. And a full list of them. And the next two more, one for on grade one. And the top one is Douglas Warren for Derek Hinton. Ten B Jewels for Graham Clinton. Maxi and D'Angelo, Paul Rhodes. Magic Bullet, David Robertson, Joshua Sutherland's got two extreme measures and comes to fruition. And the bottom one is Bonfire Yoto for Darren Thompson. So seven of them then. In this. And away they go. With the weather surprisingly clement. Irish race on SO6 as they skip over the first of 13 fences that they'll take in this race and 10 B Jules is the early leader. Extreme measures in second. The Paul Road horse Maxine D'Angelo being driven upon the inside as they come to the second. Oh, made a mistake there though, that one so too did the grey magic bullet. And 10 B Jules is the leader by about three lengths to Magic Bullet who's gone into second. Then comes comes to fruition and extreme measures. On the inside is Maxine D'Angelo, Douglas Warren in the pink jacket is next. And as they pass the winning post with a the circuit, they go Bonfire Yoto is the back marker. Darren Thompson horse is quite often out the back early on in the race with a bit of a run at the end. And 10 B Jules is clear in the lead, undisputed as they skip over number three. So over yeah, that one, the Bonfire Yoto didn't drop it all that quickly. And Tim B. Jules continues to show the way. The rest of them are pretty tightly packed, though. Just a mile and a half to go now. Still plenty of jumping to do, though. And Tim B. Boy, Tim, Tim B. Jules, sorry, comes to this next one and takes it nicely. It was a ditch. It was safely over it. And Tim B. Jules is still the leader. Douglas Warren is making a forward move on the outside. Yeah, extreme measures just about a second, but... The, Main body of the field is pretty tightly packed. Good jump there by Douglas Warren. Ten Jules this is in the lead. So that's been from the outset. Just a mile and a quarter to go now. And towards the midway point in the jumping stakes as well. As they skip over number six. And this one will be that middle fence of the 13, seven of 13. And Tim B. Jules the leader. Maxine D'Angelo has gone into second as they take that one. They got over it well. Maxine D'Angelo was a little bit slow, and Douglas Warren has now moved back into second. Magic Bullet being driven up again in third, then comes to fruition in extreme measures. Maxine D'Angelo is still at the back. He's Bonfire Yoto as they take that big ditch. And they're all safely over that one. And now Bonfire Yoto is starting to get a little bit closer at the back. Tim B. Jules has been in the lead all the way. Nothing has even come close to challenging for that lead. Getting down to the business end of the race. This is the ninth. Slow jump by the Grey Magic Bullet. Sees Maxine D'Angelo going to second. And it's just dropping off the pace a little bit. It comes to fruition. But Tim B. Jules is the leader. Well, just four more to jump now. Jockey on the leader. A little look behind. See where they all are. They're queuing up behind to take him on. But nobody's done so as yet. Now towards the fourth from home then. And Tim B. Jules gets over that one in the lead from Magic Bullet in second. Now on the outside, Extreme Measures is making a forward move. Bonfire Yoto, the jockey looks to have a double anthem on that one. The only one who looks to be struggling a little bit is comes to fruition as they come down towards the third last. And Tim B. Jules gets over in the lead from Douglas Warren and Extreme Measures. Then Maxine D'Angelo. Now Bonfire Yoto is under a bit of pressure. Magic Bullets after that one comes to fruition. Probably the only one beaten, but Tim B. Jules is still three or four lengths clear. And they're not getting to him at the moment. Tim B. Jules comes down towards the second last. In the lead, could this be a grade one win for Graham Glitterbuck? It's Tenby Jules in the lead. And behind in second is Extreme is um, Magic Bullet, then Maxine D'Angelo and Douglas Warren. Extreme Measures trying to get back into it as well. Bonfire Yoto's run petered out pretty quickly, but now Tenby Jules is finally being challenged. And they come to the final fence. Tenby Jules gets out of the lead. Slow jump by Magic Bullet on the outside. Maxine D'Angelo's trying to throw down a challenge. Can Tenby Jules hang on into the final half? Throw it's Tenby Jules, Magic Bullet, and then Maxine D'Angelo. Extreme Measures, it's almost for a line now. Tenby Bullet sticking his head out, man. Another line. It's close, it's just extreme measures, I think. Tenby Jules might well have been robbed on the line. It's been leading all the way. Heartbreak in the valleys, or wherever it is that Graham Clutterbuck is. And it's not even got second, I don't think, in the end. It's extreme measures from Magic Bullet. And the odds-on favourite takes it. For Joshua Sutherland gets extreme measures the winner. Magic Bullet second for David Robertson. Timby Jules for Graham Clutterbuck. A heartbreak in third. Maxine D'Angelo for Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Bonfire Yoto for Darren Thompson was fifth.